Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a look at another bottling from the special releases of Diageo. It's the Tinenik, 17 years old, vintage 1999, bottled in 2017, 55.9 ABV. And the price is quite steep at around 300 euros, dollars, pounds. The Tiny Nick is a distillery in the coastal highland region, which is north of Inverness. And it was, well, <laughs> the surviving distillery of three or four distilleries producing there. And, uh, well, it was erected 200 years ago. So they uh, celebrate their 200th anniversary with this bottle. And there had been, from my personal knowledge, no original Teeny Nick single malt whiskey bottle on the market. There is a flora and fauna bottle on the market, I think 10 years, which is, well, which is the original bottle for the collectors. Well, this will change today with the appearance of this 17 year old original bottle of Teeny Nick and the collectors will look after this bottle because it's first of its kind and uh, well probably this is the reason why this 17 year old is that expensive. Um, it's uh, part of the special releases 2017 as I said and there is a chapter in this small leaflet I got from the distributor beside uh, this sample I will have soon. Um, and here they write about it, uh, easily enjoyable as an aperitif or with oriental cuisine. This tinnic also rewards more subtle exploration. On the surface, straightforward and zesty, it combines grassy and citrus notes to great effect, while below a rich and also light sweetness provides a welcome introduction to its true complexity. Uh, a limited edition, natural cast strength single malt, a first release in this series from the original distiller stocks. So there will be more of the Teeny Nick brand uh, real soon now. And uh, this is the first of this series. So again, for the collectors, this is the first one. You have to have it. Um, from refill American oak hogsheads and American standard barrels filled in 1999. Limited availability, but I think there is enough for nearly everybody because the Teeny Nick brand isn't that popular. So the typical, the normal connoisseur uh, will move over that bottle because it's too expensive. <clears throat> yeah, it's written here. Distillery facts. It was founded in 1817 because I think the ban of the distilling in the highlands, which uh, survived until 1823-24, uh, wasn't effective in the northern highlands, so they were able to have that distillery there. And uh, by 1830, output had, has risen 30-fold. Distilling had come to stay. Uh, little changed until 1970, when a second distillery was built next door, more than doubling capacity. And this distillery was built in the typical style as the other distilleries from uh, that time from uh, the so-called uh, United Distillers. Uh, they have those huge glass windows behind which the postals were presented for six in a row. Uh, the Kalila looks like that. The Glenord has the same appearance. So these are bright, big glass windows presenting the distilling to the outside and a, a quite modern uh, flat roof style uh, hall, distilling hall. <clears throat> yeah, the old distillery then was closed uh, and both both production sites, the new one and the old one, they ceased production in the mid-80s because there was the big British recession 
and uh, there was no demand for malt whiskey and the old distillery didn't survive uh, but the new one was opened in 1991 again so production started and this is eight years into production uh, since then um, here on the inside I read something something else uh, uh, soon known for its fine quality in the 19th century. Uh, this was once the only distillery north of Inverness to be lit by electricity. So they had their own generator for producing electricity. The bright expression from first fill American oak cast balancing note of grass and citrus to great effect amid a rich yet also light sweetness. The from first fill American oak casks, and in the book it <laughs> they said refill hogsheads and American standard barrels. So, who has written what? Yeah. So here we go. Light, vanilla, dryness, citrus notes, fruitiness, and a little alcohol. Yeah, so the 55.9 cast strength is smellable, so the taste is quite light, or the nose is quite light, because from these, well, either first American, uh, first fill American white oak has or refill hogsheads. Uh, well, uh, those are not that intense as the European oak is. And then some, some almonds in the back. Toffee apples. A little sweetness coming through, but the citrus note is there. So staying above 50. It's so light, I do not dare to, to, to add more water to that. Lighter, a little bit more almond, and Haribo, gummy bear. <laughs> Wonderful taste, I like that. Some candy. wholemeal cereals and the citrus note. Mm -hmm. Peppery. Spicy pepper comes through. A little oakiness adding up but very, very light, so there's no bitterness, no dark chocolate, no, no espresso. It's just little oakiness, little spiciness. More spiciness. Now the oak is getting stronger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really the right strength. Don't go below 50. Still gives the mouth feel, the citrus notes, the light sweetness in it, the spiciness combines. Wonderful work. But the price is a little bit too steep. Yeah, so for the first one, probably it's okay to collect money from the collectors, therefore they are called collectors. Hmm. Yeah. So, quite a good dram, and very good for the first one from Tininik. Thank you very much for watching.